Hello everyone! It's Speedy Gear again for another episode of Stardew Valley. So from we're gonna pick up from the last episode, which is just the beginning of day two here. We're gonna check the weather, it doesn't really matter because I think the first two or three days still counts like an event. Oh, it does say it's gonna rain tomorrow. So so I guess it's just the first two days that it's kind of like a event on this game. Hey, you just got back from fishing trip. You should go down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. To the beach. That is one of our early money makers right there. We're just gonna water the plants and run to the beach. I am thinking of buying more. More plants though. So since we're going to the beach, we're gonna need the whole though. We're gonna take off. We don't really need the water can to be honest. The hole though we need. So that we can maximize our fishing space there. It's not like we're gonna get it all. But like I said. Fishing is a lifesaver in the early game. It'll make, if not all, most of your money to get everything that you need to get started. And for, first couple things I want to do is uh, check the community hall if I if I can open it. Check the barraging as well. Now we can grab some stuff here. That's like my daily, basically, task. Uh, check the floor, of course, if I miss anything. There's another Maru. Okay, the one that just moved in. It's one of the uh, spouse candidates for the guys. Yeah, I, I do believe that they will tell us, so we don't have to check the mines every day, that they're, they, that they're gonna tell us when that is open. So, I'm just gonna leave it to Lady Lock that I think I still remember what I know. That lady like is like more like my brain. <gasps> Almost missed that. Almost missed that. It's clay. So I am hoping to get a dino egg here in this run. Cause I've never gotten a dino egg ever playing this game. Ever. Because I am not the I am not the luckiest person in the world, so what do you know? Uh, no quest. Those are very good to start the money too. How much is the bag again? Two thousand. That's not too bad. Uh, sell the daffodil. Kale. I don't think kale sells a lot. I think the tulip is useful for bees to get the flavor honey. Uh, kale and the jazz seeds. I don't think kale sells that much anyways. Six days. 70 gold. It does take 12 days for a bulb of cauliflower to grow. But I do want that precious, precious cauliflower. Take four, then go to the beach. And meet our man Willy, who will give us our fishing rod. And I do love the fishing in this game. Here we go. Willy's just smoking there. In the corner. Let's just skip by, but we'll go to the cutscenes here in the game. Ahoy there, son. He didn't even turn to look, but he already knows that we're coming. Herger was a newcomer in, the ta in town. Got to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind for a month out on the salty seas. Yeah, it looks like you've been there for lo longer than the month, buddy. Look at that hat that you have. It was a big hole, sold a lot of good fish. Finally safe enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to take this old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I sure will, good sir. I sure will. A bamboo pole. Nice. Is that it? There's water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. So like I said, 
uh, fishing might be important for the community bundle, but since it's the remix bundle, I don't know what kind of fish that we need. Basically, before it was like almost one kind, all the kinds of fish that you could catch per season, and all like different kind of water areas. So ocean, the river, the lake, uh, those kind of goodies. The trading rod, a lot easier to use it, but can only catch basic fish. Interesting. Large fish tanks. Fisher double bed. Ah, that's funny. Trout soup. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't sell fish bait yet. So okay, it doesn't matter for now because we're still only using the basic pull. So one thing that you need to know in fishing in Stardew Valley is like when you see this bubbles, it means that uh, it's easier to catch fish in that area. So we'll re see the sparks. So and. Like the tutorial there, click the raise the bar, release the lower the bar, keep the bar behind the fish so you get the fish and then until you fill that. And I think the uh, the better you do at it, the better the fish that you catch, I think. What? Okay. Max. And you want it to be maxed anyway. And of course the, the higher your skill level is, the bigger the bar becomes. And also the same with the fishing rod. Here. New record, bigger fish than the last one. So the great thing about Stardew Valley being on PC is that you can put mods in the game. But I'll play vanilla on this run. Uh, one of the mods that I used to have is like it'll tell you the price of each thing that you carry. <laughs> Like sardine on the on the lower up bar, that description will tell you if it's like five bucks or something. So what we might do is actually sell the fish to Willy there. And get some money, buy some seeds, and then plant those seeds. Oh, I have to check how much energy it does show. I do apologize that you guys can't see the the energy bar there because of the my webcam but I think it's the this is a different fish for sure it's not the sardine uh, I don't have any better place to put it so Ooh, it's a flounder it's a big catch and silver rated too the other thing we could do is eat this to get more energy so I think it's eight per cast so we're sitting at 150 I'll check again I might actually save the flounder because I think that's a very rare catch. It is eight perk cast. A silver sardine. So I guess the bigger the fish goes, the better the rating is. Sorry, rating quality. See, there's the no star, which is the normal quality and then there's a silver quality and I think the next one is a gold one and I think the highest is uh, purple and that's called iridium quality because the highest so I guess they base it off the metal sets in the game too which is great uh, copper for low see there's the gold one uh, copper silver gold and then Iridium is the highest, rarest, and best ore in the game. Uh, so the bubbles are up. We're gonna check the. I'm just gonna check the area if there are any more bubbles. That did take a while, so that was good. Uh, nope. And <laughs> it was. This is funny. Uh, people. People in the forums before was telling like the rock and the beach is like one of the best place to fish. Uh, I don't know if it's true, but oh, there's a chest, so you'll get you'll get uh, something from that. So, you, but you do have to keep the green bar behind it too at all times. Two coals, nice. So coals will be very important later on for smelting your ores. So everything you get in the Mines 
you can't just use it right away to... Shit, crap. You, you just... That was a waste of energy. You just can't use it directly to upgrade your... It has to be turned into bars. Or some of your crafting materials needs to be... It requires bars instead of just regular ores, so you need to smell it through a furnace. And I don't know if I have the ability to craft furnace yet, so I don't. So... Well, the mine doesn't really matter for now, because the mine isn't open. So we got herring, flounder, sardines, and Ayachobi. We're doing well, we're doing well, I think. I think we might need to sell some of the stuff or trash this item. It's 2.30, we might stop at 3 so we can sell to Willy and... So I think one more... One, one or two more fish, then we're good. For the day. And hopefully that levels up our fishing game. So leveling up a skill, a particular skill, particular skill of the game will let you access more crafting materials. Uh, get better at that said skill, meaning you get more efficient and using your energy. And at every five skill points, you get like a branch of where you want to put out your skill or what path you want to take, basically. So in fishing, I think there is an option of you get say more cash and oh, more cash in selling fish so if you sell fish you get 25% more money from selling it or the other one is you get more from selling shellfish or like the foraging items so ooh, that's that's a lot of good money so we're sitting at 70 542 I'll buy another couple more cauliflower. So buying cauliflower, if you raise them by a 3x3 three three cell and you put every seed in there, there is a chance of that patch turning into a giant crop. And that only happens with specific uh, plants like cauliflower, pumpkins, uh, and I don't, I don't remember the, the rest or the other one. So it's cauliflower in spring, pumpkins for fall. I don't know if there's one for summer. There might be. So the one thing that gets me in this game is like, uh, you're well. I guess it's it's gonna be too realistic if they put it. Uh, there's you can put like live things in here and doesn't spoil or. Right? So we're gonna get this spot cleaned up. We might actually need the site too. Get 60. Since it's a new patch, I might wanna just, so it doesn't confuse me which one is gonna grow older. Or faster than the rest. I'm just gonna put it out line. Looks ugly, but whatever. Hopefully. I think I do have enough energy to do. Perfect. Barely enough. As long as I don't mess up. Oh, perfect. I got six more. There we go. Second day done. So again, we're gonna go fishing tomorrow. Get some cash again. And I think when you sell it to the NPCs directly, you don't see how much you earn. Level 1 fishing. Plus 1 fishing rod proficiency, see? 
And that just means that we can fish longer. And today we don't have to worry about watering. Because it's raining. It saves us more energy. Yeah, keep the two items again. Uh, we might fish in a different place. Like the river. Just in case it gets us better. Uh, better loot. Check the community center if it's open. I don't even I don't even remember if we have to trigger something before it opens. Or it activates in a cert a very specific date. Remember. Still locked, okay. So we're gonna fish here. So that so different bodies of water gives different uh, kinds of fishes. If it does take longer, then I might just go back to the beach. Cause I'm not sure which. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure if other bodies of water gives the bubble effect, or I think it's only available in the at the beach or ocean. It's so relaxing with the rain here. So I think it does take longer here. So that kind of sucks. Oh, look at that. There's a exclamation mark there. I think there's a quest. Uh, I'm running low on, on daffodil. 90 gold. So I think the daffodil was like around $40. So at this, this will increase. This will give us money and relationship bonus for Sebastian. So. So when you get, there's a uh, time limit, and what he needs, and Sebastian. And Sebastian is, I think... Oh, nice. Sebastian, yeah, the guy that, uh, the son of Robin and Demetrius. There's Shane. Doesn't even say hi. Hi. Doesn't, doesn't even care that we're new here. <laughs> That's his just whole personality thing. Oh, I think I haven't been here yet. The the ranch who sells uh, animals. Might as well check them out. When they're open. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, okay. It's done. 30 more minutes. So this is the southern part of the map. There's a... There's the wizard tower. It's a good place for foraging, and you can go fishing here too. There's horseradish. Cut some wood here too if you run out in your farm. They do spawn, I think, faster. Cut those spring onions, it's just what we need. Those sell pretty well too. It does look weird, it'll tell you like you need to plant it to grow again, but it just responds. Okay, no daffodils. Uh, maybe left side of the map. It does give us two days to actually look for one, so if we can't find one today, then we'll find one tomorrow, hopefully. More radish. And, and I don't think there is one. Tradish. That's the only thing that kind of kind of gives you the more more reason to take a look at the game because some of the items do look like uh, blends well with the environment. Go supply shop. Hey, hey, Jude. Mental. How much are animals now? So. What is that? Oh, that's chickens. Looks like a looks like a dragon. Because I think that's a white and brown chicken. It doesn't really matter what which one you choose. It just dictates the color of the egg that they get. Not one is better than the other. I think. How's the first night? It was cold, Lewis. You didn't, you didn't put a fireplace in it. 
couldn't find a daffodil today. So hopefully you find one tomorrow. So there are different kinds of fishes uh, depending on the weather too. Not just on the location. So weather, location, does affect what kind of fish you find. Sardine, already found it, but we're getting good quality sardines, so it's just great. <sighs> we're gonna go to our favorite spot. So that's one thing you wanna take note to is you don't want to farm a whole lot of. Uh, items at the beginning too because that will waste most of your time and your energy too and you don't want to waste all that precious time and just farming all day i say that in the early game because in uh once you progress through the game there will be options to make sprinklers and sprinklers automatically waters your plants so but you can't make the sprinklers, just make them. Because you can't just hope for a rainy day almost every day, right? Uh, so yeah, sprinklers will help in the early game. There's uh, three qualities, I think, again. So there's like the first the first tier, which will only like water for tiles. So not really good. I'd also just making that. Like just the one above it, below it, one beside the two beside it. Uh, the next one I think is a quality sprinkler is what you want to use because it can uh, basically, except the middle one, cover all your bases. Sebastian is there. Oh, that's fun. He stops too. So we have enough bar here. Wait. Oh, crap. Ah! Play that very rope. So we know where he stands. Is it worth stopping for a while and look for a daffodil then? Fishing today is a bust. Wow. So let's see, uh, so last time as uh, level 0, we were using 8 energy per cast. Oh. I think it's still 8. 7. Still better. Every, every thing counts. There we go, we got the treasure. This is maybe a flounder again? Oh, it's uh, just an anchovy, but a bigger one. It's a gold quality anchovy. Oof. We're out of spots. Just got to. We might just sell it to Willy for now, so that we can continue fishing. And also, the time of day, fiberglass rod is the next one, and it, you can put a bait on it, so it will help you catch fish faster. So I think that's our first upgrade here: is getting a better rod. Maybe. Because mining itself doesn't really net you a lot of money. So, you don't really need to upgrade your mining tools mm -hmm. pretty fast. You just need to upgrade it so you can progress deeper in the mines. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily a money maker. Your money makers are mm -hmm. your... For early game is fish. And then crops. And then once you progress, you'll add animals to it. And then once you progress further, your number one money maker will be your crops, and then your animals, and then you won't even bother fishing at that point anymore. J uh, fishing will just be like uh, for achievements mm -hmm. and stuff. 
once you make your farm super efficient. But there is a way to fish automatically per se. It's by putting a crab trap. A, yeah, a crab trap in trap. Sorry, crab trap in the beach here, or even in town, and we'll let you cr catch not fish, but like crabs, as the name implies, and some other stuff. Like you can find items there too, which is great. The only thing is, it does take a while for it to catch something. I I don't think it's a daily thing. Maybe it is a daily thing. Seaweed. Uh, we might save it because it. Uh, we do need seaweed to craft the fish pond. So, and I'm interested in what it does. Wait, does it think that we're replenishing our water considered a fish pond? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, but it might be. Okay, there's a guy walking there. Oh, seagull. We might actually save some of this uh, uh, foraging items that we we got, just in case the community bundle needs it. Ah, uh, not really. We we can just sell. We do have eel. Nice. We do have enough time to catch get them again, because it's just the beginning of spring. Uh, so we just we'll just probably sell it. Uh, I'll just get a check on daffodils again because I'm really nervous that we won't be able to finish this even tomorrow because I don't know the respawn times of uh, items in this game and I know where Sebastian is already there we go there we go so we're gonna give it to Sebastian which is just down at the docks being a Give it to. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Just a big and regular teenager, I guess. Delivery, 90 gold. Then, let's see. Doesn't really show here, but every time a person is at the very top, it just means that it has a better relationship than you, uh, for you, with you. So the higher the person is, the higher the relationship with you is. On that list, basically. It's actually quite nice that they give you this option now that they will tell you what they want compared to before that you have to look in the wiki but you have to give it to them first I think before it tells you if they like it or not and before it shows that list that's the one thing that you might want to don't want to risk uh, but I guess it's okay in the first if, if they don't like it they'll just reject it and you get like a minus uh minus point relationship points but if they really oh my goodness i did not even notice that we got a iridium quality sardine on our third day wow wow it's not like it's not like it's sell like for a thousand bucks but quite surprised pleasantly surprised Joja Cola, drink that for energy, might as well. Uh, the time of the day, yes, that was the three op the three things that will affect your fishing too is what kind of fish it will affect is uh, the season, the time, and the weather. So during rainy days, we'll get you different different fish. And there are all, and there are specific fish on specific conditions too that you want to catch it's for achievement, of course, or maybe for the bundle too. So that's one thing that we want to take note of. Bullhead. Uh, when amethyst, Gunther. So we'll give it to Gunther tomorrow. Carp. Yeah, we have trash. Perfect. 
Oh, I f damn it! I forgot to put it to put it in my inventory. Well, you win some and you lose some. The one thing I like about uh, fishing here too is like you don't have to go through that scene if it's like a crap item. It automatically tells you when you hit it. It's like a broken glass, trash, like you notice, or a seaweed or something. So, which is really, really, really a quality of life. Because in, uh, I remember in some games like Harvest Moon or Rune Factor, I think you still th go through the whole shenanigan of catching it until it tells you, oh, you just got a uh, rusty old boot. So. Kind of sad, really. Oh, oof. those are really good items. Seaweed is not too important. Bait, it's okay. Carp, yes, please, but I think the sardine is cheaper. Since we don't have enough spot, it's just just making me feel sad that we're have to throw some stuff away. Rather than selling it. And the other thing here, remember that the the mayor told you that he'll sell the items for you, but it, he did, it doesn't mention he didn't mention what time he will sell it. He just said that I'll come back the night, meaning at the end of years, at the end of the cycle. So even it's already 10 p.m. And I'll put all this stuff just to prove it to you guys. Is that you'll get the money at the end of the cycle, not at the at, not like at 5 p.m. or something like that. As far as I'm aware, I think last time I played, for sure that's how it went. I might keep the eel because that's a very rare fish, like the flounder. I think. It is a rare fish. I think you can only catch it on rainy and rainy days. Okay. Let's see if I'm right. Level one for raging, plus axe proficiency, and three sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipes too, which is a wild seed spring and field stack. So that field stack is the item that I was talking about, which requires you to get some random stuff, but is really good for recovering your energy. Level two fishing. You can now craft bait. See, here we go. Yes, I was right. So it doesn't matter what time you put it in, as long as you put it in at the end of the day. Carp is 37. Iridium quality sardine is 80 gold. That's not too much, really. But the bullhead silver quality is still better. The bullhead, just in general, so fishing in the lake will net you, I guess, a lot more money. But I think it does take a while to net fish there. Spring onions, eight gold. It's just eight gold per. Ah, uh, that, that's not. I should have just kept it for the community bundle, really. So we got five hundred forty on gold in one day. That's really nice. Now we are up to a thousand. The fiberglass rod was eighteen hundred, so we just need eighteen more, uh, eight hundred more. And I'll just get it from fishing again. So this is where I'll stop the episode. Uh, thank you for watching again. And if you like the video, please like, follow, and comment, and subscribe, and share it to your friends that would like to try Star Jew Valley. So until next time, see ya!